Well, hello. God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. I pray that you're having a fantastic day. Look, here in Raleigh, in the Triangle area, we got a little dusting this morning, and the snow was beautiful to look at this morning, and it's long gone by now. So thank God uh, for uh, ha- allowing at least the roads to be clear, and we got a little, what we call a North Carolina snow, and uh, uh, less than an inch for us at times is treated like a blizzard. But God is good and worthy to be praised. I pray that you are having a fantastic day. My friends, I want to tell you, the God of the Bible is in charge and the God of the Bible is good and God's doing great things. Uh, You have to admit 2021 uh, so far has uh, been a barn burner. I said, uh, and you probably heard me say, if you follow this ministry, that many felt that if we could just get past 2020 and get into 2021, we could take a break, we could relax and everything would just uh, go back to normal and things would kind of cool off. Well, you know, there's an escalation of things going on in the world. And for those of us who are born again, who love Jesus Christ, who are seeking the Lord and who are worshiping servants. That's right. Worshiping servants. Jesus said, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shall thou serve. We are connected to the Lord. And as we proskuneo, as we worship him, as we stay excited about him, as we seek him, we will be able to, literal, we will be able to serve him, carry out the work of the church, fight the good fight of faith, stand in these last and evil days. We see things being passed into law, signed into law, things that are being endorsed that the Bible calls sin, that the Bible calls an abomination. And yet uh, we're in a day where when your point of view of your position does uh, do not agree with the establishment, whoever they are, we're living in what is called now a cancel culture. They will severely restrict your ability to be heard. Our First Amendment rights are being attacked as never before. I'll tell you why they're being attacked as never before. It's a simple reason, my friends. It is because truth wins. Truth wins. See, in the arena of ideas, uh, all ideas up until now have been allowed to be heard on the college campus, at work, at home, at the dinner table. People discuss things and people understood that uh, we're not to take it seriously. I'm not to try to kill you, nor you to kill me or uh, me to try to get you fired or you get me fired because your views are different from mine in the in the arena of ideas. We 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 allow for discussion and in the even in the arena of free speech when there is speech out there that you don't like the remedy is not to limit speech the remedy is to provide more speech let people hear more there's a reason why on Paul's missionary journeys wherever he went people tried to kill him tried to stone him oh they they ran him out of the city they did different things you know why Because the truth of God is irresistible and God's truth wins in any discussion or any debate. So we're living in a day now where uh, the powers that be pretend that there is no other side of the argument that there's no other position. And if you so, if you so happen to hold a differing position, then they're going to try to silence you and, uh, and all these things. But my friends, we are up for the battle because we're connected. Who are we connected to? The God of the Bible, the God and Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who infuses us with grace, with revival, with strength, with determination, with courage, with a mind to fight on because we know how this thing is going to end. We win. (laughs) By the help of the Almighty, we win the battle and I thank God for the victory. Now listen, I have a treat for you tonight. Listen, you know, we had our uh, 
end of the year revival here, and I featured some of the most powerful uh, uh, people that we have in our ministry, in our district, Pastor Michael Woodard, Pastor uh, Charles Washington, Pastor uh, James Parker, Pastor, all these powerful, powerful preachers uh, from near and from far, and I tell you, they preach the gospel with power and authority. Pastor Jason Mercer, oh, God used him. Uh, Sister Vicki Wright, First Lady Laverne Cooper, Evangela uh, uh, Williams, and uh, to e Sister Evangelist Emil Hope, and, and Evangelist Crystal Amanchuku, uh, my first or second uh, uh, assistant. Elder Amanchuku, second assistant, uh, Elder uh, Wilson, uh, 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 Elder Robert Williams, and and there were so many others who we scheduled, and and uh, uh, and we're looking forward to hearing uh, from uh, them. But one of the persons who was not uh, scheduled to speak during this time was the first lady of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, my wife, Pamela. I had uh, had something different in mind for her, and uh, 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 the Lord had placed on my heart. I want to tell you about it. The Lord had placed on my heart to have her to minister the word of the Lord uh, to you tonight. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you, you want to hear what this woman of God has to say. The passage of scripture that comes to my mind is Esther chapter four and uh, verse 14. And uh, where Mordecai said to her in their discourse, and who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this. I believe that God has raised my wife up for such a time as this. She's solid in the scriptures. She understands the winds uh, of uh, our society. She has a depth in God. She's given to prayer. And she's a woman of God who preached the word of the Lord. She's a tremendous wife, mother, and grandmother. And I tell you, she has stood by me every step of the way, uh, ever since uh, we got married in 1980 up until now. We have been in the fight for the things of God. She's never stood between me and the vision that God has given me. She's never said, honey, if you give this in church, we, will, we'll, we won't have a dime left. When the, when, even when that was the case so many times, she was right there to say, well, if God said it, then let's go with God. And the Lord have raised her up. You've heard her before, but I'm excited tonight about you hearing uh, from this woman of God. I want you to spread the word. I want you to spread the word that this woman, the first lady of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, is going to be ministering here tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And those who will be watching online, we certainly appreciate God for you. Those who will be here live in the sanctuary, we're coming to hear the word of the Lord, and God is going to bless us in a mighty way. And I tell you what, even when, when, when she's featured tonight, I tell you what she's featured, why we're putting her up. We're putting her up for Bible study. <laughs> yes, Bible study. She's going to lead us in studying the word of the Lord together. And God is going to bless us in a mighty way. So I want you to meet me here tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And uh, uh, set your cups out and, and get ready to hear from this woman of God who is going to bless us all in a mighty way. And by our friends who join us online, thank you so much for the way you, your support. We're hearing from you. We're hearing from people uh, all over, from all over. And I thank God for you. And I want to close by saying this to you. Don't be afraid, my friends. Don't be shaken. Amen. Be not soon shaken. Don't be shaken at all because God's in charge. And you know, um, I'm not like the athlete who, when he scores a touchdown, he praises God for his touchdown, which is good. But then if he drops the ball or there's an interception or something, God never gets any praise. God never gets any glory. Well, let me tell you, 
He's God when he's allowing me to score. And he's God when he's allowing things to happen in life that I don't understand, don't agree with, can't quite uh, get uh, wrap my arms around it yet. But here's what I do know. I do know that he's God. And I do know that he loves me. And I do know that he's wiser than I am. And he's wiser than you are. In fact, he says, as the heavens are above the earth, so are my ways above your ways and my thoughts above your thoughts. So I've learned to just follow the Lord, follow him where he leads. I will follow. And you know what? His will will be done. So God bless you tonight. Join me here at the upper room, Church of God in Christ. As First Lady Pamela Renee McNeil Wooden leads us in the word of God. God bless you. I'll see you here.